Welcome back to another iDoctor UK video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the rear camera on the iPhone 12. With this one, we can see that we've got front camera working. However, when we spin it round, it's giving us a 2x option, a 1x option, but the 0.5 camera is actually working. Normally, when it's working properly, we'll not get the 2x option anyway. Let's start off by powering the phone down and removing the two pentalobe screws at the bottom of the device. Now we're going to place the phone on a heat mat for about 5 minutes set to 85 degrees C. You can use a heat gun or hairdryer to do this, however I do recommend using a heat mat because it will distribute the heat evenly across the phone, making it much easier to remove. After the phone's had 5 minutes on the heat mat, apply a bead of alcohol around all the edges of the phone so that it can soften the adhesive holding down the screen. I'll now take a small suction cup and just attach it to the bottom of the phone resting my fingers on either side of the screen and pulling upwards with this finger. Once you've got the suction cup on there, take a single sided razor blade and create a small gap between the chassis of the phone and the screen and then gently peel backwards whilst lifting the suction cup to release the display. If you find it's difficult to lift it, add a little bit more alcohol down there and that's going to soften the adhesive. Once you've got a small opening and the seal's actually broken, you'll find that it's quite easy to get a guitar pick in there and begin lifting the screen by running the guitar pick along the edge of the device. When you find it's getting tough again to move, add some more alcohol and continue running the pick around. Go back to the bottom edge and work it around the left hand edge this time. Just be careful on this side because the cables for the screen are over here and we don't want to damage those. Once the pick's been run around the long edges and the bottom edge, lift up with the suction cup and get the guitar pick in the top edge to begin loosening that and we're just going to sort of pry away from from the chassis to release it once all the edges are released the screen opens up like opening the front cover of a book now the screen is released we'll take it back over to the workbench and begin removing the camera before we detach the screen it's a good idea to put a heavy weighted object behind the screen to stop it from falling over and now that we're into the device we'll begin by removing these two tri-wing screws holding down the battery and screen connector. A lot of the screws that we're going to remove are different sizes, so organize them carefully on something like a magnetic mat whilst we're disassembling the device so that it's easy to work out where they go back into when it comes to reassembling and a plastic prying tool to disconnect the battery. Now that power's isolated, we can go ahead and remove the two flex cables for the screen, then move up to the top of the device where there's another four tri-wing screws holding down the connector for the front ear speaker and sensor array. This shield is clipped under here, so lift it from this side to release it from the little clip. We can now disconnect the connector for the ear speaker and take the screen away from the device and store it safely for reinstallation later. Use your plastic tool again to disconnect this flex cable here and the one underneath it just there. Then use your tri-wing driver to release these four tri-wing screws. With those released, there's one more crosshead screw at the top of the camera shield. Release that one so that we can take our tweezers and remove the shield that holds down the rear camera. Now we've got access to that camera, we can just use our tweezers to remove it and dispose of that in the waste. The part that I'm using is a genuine pulled camera from another iPhone 12 that we bought from another customer. However, the camera has been tested and is working good. It's a fairly simple case of reinstalling the new camera where we just took out the old one then connecting the two flex cables to the motherboard. It's a good idea now to spend some time cleaning up the chassis. The old glue can be very stubborn to remove. If you use your tweezers and a bit of persistence, you will get it all removed. You will get it all removed. Of course, be careful when using sharp tweezers next to a battery, if you puncture it it will have to be replaced.
now the majority of the seal is removed, I'm just going to brush over it with a cleaning brush and some isopropyl alcohol just to get any remaining bits out of the way and ensure that our new seal will stick nicely to the chassis. Now that the chassis is prepared for the new seal, we're going to reattach the shield. Just make sure that this little tab here goes into the right spot on the camera. And then hold it in place whilst you get the first of the five screws back on. Don't forget that the very top one is a crosshead screw. And now they're all installed, we're going to reattach the screen. Before the screen goes on, it's important to get the dust and moisture resistance seal on because you'll not be able to fit it with the screen attached. I always lay it in that top corner first and then line it up before using the back side of the curved tweezers to secure it down all the way around. And then remove the blue fill. Now that the seal's attached, we can offer up the screen connectors, starting up with the touch connector at the bottom, just connect that up, followed by the LCD or OLED connector, and then the ear speaker connector at the very top. I'll put the heavy object behind the screen again so that it doesn't fall over, and then reinstall the shield over the top of these connectors at the top. Remember that the clip has to sit in right, otherwise it won't sit properly. Just hold that in place with your left finger or right finger, depending what hand you use to screw the screws in, and then re-secure the four tri-wing screws in each corner of the shield. With those secured, I'll reattach the battery now and then place this shield back over the connectors and re-secure those final two tri-wing screws. I can now remove the last layer of the adhesive from the edges of the phone. And to reinstall the screen, it's always a good idea to start at the top Get that lined into place with your thumb. Make sure that it sits flush. And then apply pressure along the edges of the device. Don't forget the final two screws at the bottom of the device. Resecure those with the Pentalub screwdriver. and now we can power back on the phone. Don't panic if the phone doesn't turn back on with the button, just try booting it through the charging cable because sometimes when you disconnect the battery from the device, it doesn't always boot straight away. Now we'll open up the camera app and we will get this important camera message. Unfortunately, I don't know a way around this as we speak. It's something that you have to live with on models of iPhone 12 onwards. We can see now that we've got the 1x camera and the 2x camera and I'll just move it around the workstation so that you can see that it's working as we want it to just make sure that you've got front camera and also flash as well because they're all related to the same circuits that's how to replace the camera on the iPhone 12 thank you for watching and see you next time